Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome to Train Simulator 2018. Now today we're having a look at the Weardale and Teesdale network. Uh, this is a route add-on which is available on Steam for £25, which is quite expensive. But it doesn't matter. Um, I think that's about $35, $40. So yeah, it's quite an expensive add-on really, but that's kind of average for Train Simulator. Uh, today we're having a look at the Bishop Auckland to uh, Darlington route. This is quite cool. We're in a class 101, which is a British train, as you'd expect on a British uh, train line. Good afternoon, driver. Today we'll be taking passengers from Bishop Auckland to Darlington, stopping at all stations along the way. Let the passengers board here before departing. Well, sounds like we've got quite a tricky mission for stopping, which is quite difficult in this game, actually. Um, I suppose in real life they have sort of set places to start breaking, but not so in this game. You can often overshoot stations, but I don't think we're going very fast. So this is a diesel train. It's actually really nicely modelled. I like the look of it a lot. Put the lights on. Do we need the lights on? It's, it's quite, a, quite a nice day. Probably don't need them on. Ah, oh, this guy getting on. Always oh, on. Okay. So yeah, all around it's very nice. Interior is good. Got a couple of views. I must just say I've got the... Um, I've got um, an FOV change. I've increased the field of view to make it wider. It looks good. Oh, and there goes the signal. Right. So it's got gears as well. So it's still a diesel, but we have to use these gears. So we've got about... This is about a 20 minute mission. Or possibly a bit longer, like 25 minute mission, yeah. Let's say 25 minutes. And off we go. So not much is really clickable in here. We've got a gear, the gear lever there. Which is alright. What's down here? Uh, cab light. Instrument light. And a signal buzzer. And the automatic warning signal. Mm. Then you turn on the wipers, so I must be a Ah. There. Okay, we're passing the 45 mile per hour speed limit. It's a full throttle. Oh, look at that. Our engine RPM going up massively. Oh, it's just like it's just like a car. The gears. It's kind of strange. You wouldn't expect a train like this to have gears, but it does. I think that could make a very good uh, thumbnail. There you go. Are we good? Oh, it's all got light all of a sudden. Put it into fourth gear, there you go. Top gear. Look at this. We can ride along from inside the carriage. So yeah, County Durham is in the north of England. I've been there a few times. Um, it's quite an interesting place because it's kind of... It's not really barren, it's not like a completely desolate landscape. There's, there's a lot of um, small villages and towns but I think the, it's just so much there's just so much space out there um, I'm not sure this really does it justice it's like a train simulator is quite an old game though it doesn't look so great here always is that going to be a problem that train coming over here no it seems like we're all right so we're due to get there at 3.05. It says here we're going to be there at 3.06. Look at this! I like it when there's traffic on the line. Actual real other trains, which is good. That's a red light. Is it? That looked like a red light. I'm not sure. We go for a tunnel, let's put the lights on. But I do like 
the way this looks. And actually, I quite like um, how this is running. It's, uh, this train simulator doesn't usually run very well. It's quite a bad game on the performance front. But currently, I'm getting 40, 50 FPS, and I'm happy about that. Um, I've got a station coming up. Shilden Platform. Now we can't change the carriage. Whoa. Speaking about performance, that was quite a big frame drop right there. Right, bring down the um, speed a bit. See the light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, I don't know, if I were to pick a favourite DLC, I'm not so sure. I'm certainly getting back into Train Simulator. I go, I go from playing it every now and again to um, like maybe maybe a few weeks where I'll just it'll be one of the games I play the most. Let's do that. Um, and I feel like that's the best way to experience some of these simulator games. Um, a good simulator game, you should never feel I really need to play this. I, I I'm not spending enough time in it. You should just naturally want to play it. Um, you know. Things like flight simulator that take quite a bit of effort to set up, especially if you've got a, a uh, joystick. Every time you play, you've got to set up your joystick. Same with driving games, but this is just very easy. Just launch up the game. It's all there for you. Oh dear. Okay, we need to break. Okay, good thing we started breaking them. And we're on time, look at that. Perfect. And there's another train coming to join us. Look at that. Now open the doors. Wow. Anyone getting on? No, but look at all the people in there. Oh my goodness. But the dri our driver is the only guy moving. Hmm. Yes, yeah, I have to say, most of these people look alright. But this guy here... Not so much. Not so much. That's not... Yeah, everyone else seems to be quite high res, but you're not very high res, mate. Okay, first gear. Off we go. So getting used to these gears, actually, it's quite, it's quite difficult, but it's not completely um, impossible. You can kind of hear the revs of the engine, so it's kind of like driving a car. You just kind of match the revs to the to the right gear. Look at these sidings. Quite a lot of stuff in them. So yeah, this area of the world is known for lots of mining, or it was at one point. Uh, this uh, train line is like a period setting, so it's not modern. Um, it's set in like, I'd say, 1960s, 1970s. Um, back then was kind of more towards the end of when this area of the world had lots of mining. So stuff like coal and slate, the kind of stone you put on your roof. And a bit of industry as well. So now this area is... Well... It's not... So it's not as prosperous as, it, as prosperous as it once was. They've got a few... Car fact. I think they've got a couple of car factories there, like Nissan. Um, it's quite close to Newcastle. In Sunderland. And... and uh, this and Durham, which is like a, it's got a very good university there now. Um, but in terms of County Durham itself, um, we're going to be going to pretty much the biggest place um, later, which is Darlington.
and it's pretty nice weather today, isn't it? When I've been to Tukanji Durham, it hasn't usually been like this. It's usually been very, very windy. And there are some great driving roads around there, actually. Just got to push the um, brakes carefully down here, because we've got to maintain the right kind of speed. We are now going uphill, though. There we go. So quite a lot of farm buildings around here. And I have to say that the hedgerows do not look so good. Kind of flat. A few of these flowers don't look very good either. Um, but that's the issue with Train Simulator, really. It's an old game now. And they keep... They keep it going. But there's no real need to keep it going. It's, I mean, there's so much DLC. $10,000 worth of DLC not really necessary. Okay, coming up to our third station. It does look good, this train, though. I really like the way this train looks. The, the Class 101. In this kind of green paint job. Really nice. I mean, for all the complaints we have with Dovetail Games, the makers of this game, the, the stuff they create, most of the time, looks great. It really does. Right, we've got the station coming up. Slowing down. Okay, and we come. Um, probably slowed down a bit too much actually but again we are on time so that's good uh, we've got a couple of people on this on the platform Hayington Hayington not a place I'm familiar with um, ah, and I've not quite made it onto the platform there. But it's alright, we can still do it. We can still open the doors. You guys have just got to... Whoa, man! Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop getting so angry! Whoa! Cutting in front of a woman! That woman's not going to be happy about that. Is this guy going to make it? Oh, it's that guy with the face again, the with the low pixelated face. Guy, come on. You can make it. No! He didn't make it. Sorry, mate. Hard luck. That is um that's not good. I've changed my mind. This is gonna be the um Yes. That's the, that's the thumbnail. There you go. That's good. Now I think I might have to do this in two parts, actually. Otherwise, this will be a very long video. So, yeah. Or, or will it? No, perhaps not. I think, actually, this will be an alright length in video. Of, co of course, I find it really important for you guys to get in contact with me. So leave a comment down below and just tell me, do you prefer these longer videos or do you prefer shorter videos? Um, this, is, this is one of my first videos on the channel, just to let you know. Um, what might be happening is that you might be watching this video 
ages after I make it and release it. Um, but I will try with this channel to look at every single one of your comments and reply to almost every single one, uh, as long as they're sensible, as long as they're proper comments. Um, and also you can recommend me games to play, because that's really important as well. So yeah, the um, cockpit in here. Oh, there's another one. And we're speeding. Oops. The cockpit looks alright. I have a few um, paid external dovetail DLC, so not made by uh, dovetail like Just Trains um, DLC. Uh, generally, the quality level is higher. But it's still detail enough. I'm not complaining about how it looks. I just think there's uh, a bit of room for improvement. And for me, I know we've got this detailed level crossings, but the scenery is a bit flat. And County Durham is not, um, in, for most of County Durham anyway, is not like this. So yeah. And we've got some leaves on the line there. Like quite a lot. I mean, one thing that people often ask me is how do you keep these games entertaining? Because it is literally just slapping the controls on, getting the train to go. Well, have a look around the game world. You know, in this game we've got this button here, the free explore mode. I mean, somebody has created all of this. All of these hedgerows was created by someone, and you're never going to see this. You're never going to see this bush, but it was still put here. Oh. That's weird. All of this was put here by someone who made this game. Um, this road here, which is quite cool. I mean, there's a bit of a problem here, obviously. So this game, I mean, I wouldn't call the, the way they make the world lazy, because they're not. I think one thing you have to give them credit is that every single piece of um, track is exactly to scale of what it would be in real life. So these journeys are definitely to scale. So that means they take exactly the same amount of time as they do in real life. But you can see that the detail is only really around the track. So, for instance, where, where does this bridge go? I get that it might be a farming bridge. But there's nothing here. There's no... I mean, there's a bit of farming going on here, but... It's hardly farming simulator, is it? And also, the performance does suffer in a game like this. Because there's so much going on in this board. Look at the amount of uh, shrubbery we've got here. And even though they are just little pictures that always face you, that still harms game forms. And look at all the, these copy and pasted houses here. Oops. Put on too much brake. I need to, need to concentrate. Get in the train. factories here. See, I, uh, I think that means red, I don't, I don't know. Coming into North Road platform. Almost on time. Which is good. Very long curve, look at this. And there seems to be a power station over there. 
and then after that we've just got a four minute journey presumably across this this must be Darlington now well, that's where we are now just give it a bit more power slow down a bit too much but there is the station and this this looks good Compared to the field, open fields out there, this looks good. I don't know what that is. Hmm, a bit weird. I can make it in my own mind for what there was, just a pile of scrap or something. Oh dear. Can we stop before the end of the platform? Can we stop before the end of the platform? Answer? We're about to find out. Yes. Good. Perfect stop. And very, very nearly on time. Good Darlington. So this is called North Road. And yeah. Again, what's... It's very weird. It's like a, a giant has been playing with matchsticks. Very weird. Right, let's keep going. We almost don't need to use gear one. It can start in like gear two. I wonder what two B means. That is strange. Did you see that? So, as we go over 15 miles per hour, the map zooms out down here. That's interesting. So there's a lot of traffic on this, on this route, which I'm quite happy with, because usually they're so bad, these um, these routes. And just a little bit of traffic, you know, goes a long way to making it much more interesting. It's got a warm day in the game, just having a drink. That's ultimate role play, isn't it? And actually, it's late. It's mid middle of May here in Britain, which is where I'm uh, filming Simulator Adventures from. Um, yeah, I I don't have my window open, so I'll probably do that after I've finished the video. got a church or some kind of tower here or is that the clock tower for the station looks like it and a nice view of the power station for the passengers they're gonna love that uh oh I just realized no we need to slow down to the 15 mile per hour speed limit there we go Okay. I wonder what's going to happen there. There's so many different ways we could have gone. But no, we're going down here. Into Darlington. Here we are actually in Darlington now. On time as well. Good. Very close to that wall. Blimey.
Are these people waiting to get on? What is going on? Oh, that's odd. No, 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 no. Don't get on. Oops. Don't get on the train. This is, this is where we end. This is end of the line. Look at that, Darlington. It's quite a large town, I believe. And over here we've got... We've got the uh, turntable. So yeah, well done driver, that was a successful run, scenario complete. Now if we go back to the um, com uh, completion screen, that's good. There we have it. I got a gold star, look at that, amazing. Okay, we did have a few speeding offences, but it doesn't matter. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is my first video in Train Simulator. Um, hopefully there'll be more in the future. I do try to get as many different games on this channel as possible, um, but I'll see you in the next time on Simulator Adventures.